so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session i would be discussing data area data structure in rpgle so basically i am going to create a data structure over a data area so here the data area would be just i am giving you an example which i created so here you can see i uh, defined a data structure based upon the data area so let me show you so here i would be using the u which is means if this is a data area data structure so for a data area data structure i would be using u with the ds keyword so which means that this is the data area data structure and giving that a name so ds1 is the name of the data area data structure and which is dependent upon or based upon data area named data area one so here i would be giving the name of the data area inside the single quotes these are the sub fields of that data area data structure and here you can see i am reading the data structure or you can say i am reading the data area basically so i am reading this data area data area one using in keyword and i am writing data area data uh, data structure or you can say i am writing data area and data area one using out keyword so in and out is basically used to read and write in the data area now i am displaying the sub field one sub field two after reading the values and then i am going to evaluate some new value to the sub field one and sub field two then i am writing those values to this data area and then last record indicator on and return from the program let me show you this tip. So first of all, what I need to do is to create a data area named data area one. Create data area data area data area one star care of length twenty. Initial value would be hello. world tsp dtara hello world so we can see the values now i would be compiling this star source Just debug this program. Call this program. So currently I have uh, nothing in the sub fields of DS1 that is data area data structure. Now still I did not have anything. Uh, since this in has been executed is now executed so it reads the data area during the initialization. So I can see the values in the DS1 now hello world is there after that i would be able to display sub field one and sub field two that is hello and world after that i am going to change these sub fields i can see these sub fields are changed but if i would see i think it is not there okay so you can say hello world is still there So once out is executed, now we can see the change values, change 1 and change 2. And this is returned from the program. So if I run this program again, now this time I would be seeing subfield 1 of DS1 and subfield 2 of DS2 is change 1 and change 2. 
okay so this way I'm gonna using the concept of data area data section where I have to provide the name of the DS and I have to use the U for the data area data section and I have to name a data area with DTA ARA keyword uh, so that I would be giving that uh, this data structure is based upon this data area so then it becomes the data area data structure okay so then I am using in and out keyword to read or writing the things in the data area which is created so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time